Click pruning is um, an important technique that um, was developed in Europe 15-20 um, uh, years ago in Holland and uh, is mainly mm, based on, on a simple cut at the end of the branch on, uh, on one year old shoot and um, usually you have to leave uh, three, four vegetative bud and those bud uh, will produce a strong reaction, so following the, the gradient of vigor of the branches. So uh, in the apical part of your branch, you are driving your, your, your vigor. What is the effect of the, of the click on the branches? So the effect of the click on the branches is that uh, close to the stem, you will have bud swell because you are removing the apical dominance with the cut. And at the same time, uh, you can have a very short formation of, uh, of spores, of uh, small shoot that uh, usually I call brindilla, uh, with a terminal flower bud. And it is really um, a wonderful technique uh, to minimize the issue of blind boot. Uh, how to apply the click uh, to, to a tree, for example. So you can see in the first picture in the corner on, of the slide that you have a, a branch that have two shoots, uh, very strong shoot, uh, and this is the terminal part of the branch. The, the rule is that uh, I have to remove the one that is uh, growing inside or more vertical, and then I have to open like the branch, like is, uh, is showing in the second picture when you can see the clipper that is removing the, the vertical one, and then uh, you, you will remain with just the one that you want. The one that is uh, in the third picture in the bottom, so have to be trimmed and shorted uh, at two three vegetative bud. In the way that the next year, like in the picture four, you will see a new shoot that were growing. And then you repeat exactly every year, year by year, the same operation. This allowed you to stay in the same position so the branch didn't grow uh, uh, out of the space that you define uh, for the branches. And at the same time, you are not losing the, the, the bottom part of the branch that they, is still able to have flower bud. So this is where the click technique can, can play a big role. So minimizing the blind wood and, and uh, flower bud uh, extinction. One thing that uh, I want to highlight uh, is that usually uh, the, the pairs that are produced on, on, on spores, on, on two or three years old wood, are bigger size compared to the ones that are produced on, on, on the brindilla, so in one year old, the, at the tip of the one year old shoot. And also this makes sense because the, the, the fruit are more distant and they become uh, banded, uh, so they, they are far away from, from the stem, so, and they, they got less benefit of, uh, of, uh, of the, all the subflow and nutrient. So, so the, the vigor that uh, is, uh, is enhanced by the clique uh, is also driving a lot of subflow uh, to, 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 to make the, the, the shoot grow. And, uh, and of course you, you, you have some benefit and in, for example bud size become really big in, the, in this case compared to the small bud that you can have at the end of, uh, of, uh, of a shoot. Click technique can be used also in the, in the top part of the, of, of the tree to manage uh, the vigor and drive the vigor over the, uh, the top. And um, this is cle a clear example in the, in the picture that I'm showing you where the top has been trimmed at two tree uh, you can live a little bit longer and up to five uh, um, vegetative bud. After that you will have a strong reaction in the top part of the tree and, and below uh, the, the vigor will be controlled. So the click is, is really a pruning technique that drives the vigor where you want, not where the tree um, would like to grow. So, and this is how you can control, because if you look below in this picture, you have all small shoots and, and, uh, and terminal flower bud. So this is, a, is really the, a good effect of the click pruning.